Maccabim, Rishon, one Maccabees, seven. In the hundred and one and fiftieth year, Demetrius, the son of Selachias, departed from Rome and came up with a few men unto a city of the sea coast and reigned there. And as he entered into the palace of his ancestors, so it was that his forces had taken Antichius and Alysius to bring them unto him. Wherefore, when he knew it, he said, Let me not see their faces. So his host slew them. Now when Demetrius was set upon the throne of his kingdom, there came unto him all the wicked and unrighteous men of Yashadel, having Alchemus, who was desirous to be high priest for their captain. And they accused the people to the king, saying, Yahuda and his brethren have slain all your friends and driven us out of our land. Now, therefore, send some man whom you trust and let him go and see what havoc he has made among us and in the king's land. And let him punish them with all them that aid them. Then the king chose Bachides, a friend of the king, who ruled beyond the flood, and was a great man in the kingdom, and faithful to the king. And him he sent with that wicked alchemist, whom he made high priest, and commanded that they, rather, that he should take him, rather, that he should take vengeance of the children of Yashadael. So they departed, and came with a great power into the land of Yahuda where they sent messengers to Yahuda and his brethren with peaceable words deceitfully. But they gave no heed to their words, for they saw that they were come with a great power. Then did there assemble unto Alchemists and Bachides a company of scribes to require justice. Now the Hasideans were the first among the children of Yashadael that sought peace of them. For said they, One that is a priest of the seed of Aharan is come with this army, and he will do us no wrong. So he spoke unto them peaceably, and swore unto them, saying, We will procure the harm neither of you nor your friends. Whereupon they believed him, howbeit, he took of them threescore men and slew them in one day, according to the words which he wrote. The flesh of your Kodashim have they cast out, and their blood have they shed round about Jerusalem. There was none to bury them. Wherefore the fear and dread of them fell upon all the people who said, There is neither truth nor righteousness in them. For they have broken the covenant and oath that they made. After this removed Bacchides from Yerushalayim and pitched his tents in Bezeth, where he sent and took many of the men that had forsaken him, and certain of the people also. And when he had slain them, rather, and when he had slain them, he cast them into the great pit. Then committed he the country to Alchemus, and left with him a power to aid him. So Bachides went to the king, but Alchemus contended for the high priesthood. And unto him resorted all such as troubled the people, who, after they had gotten the land of Yahud into their power, did much hurt in Yashadael. Now when Yahuda saw the mischief that Alchemus and his company had done among Yashadael, even above the heathen, he went out into all the coasts of Yahuda round about and took vengeance of them that had revolted from him, so that they dared no more go forth into the country. On the other side, when Alchemus saw that Yahudah and his company had gotten the upper hand, 
and knew that he was not able to abide their force, he went again to the king and said all the worst of them that he could. Then the king sent Nicanor, one of his honorable princes, a man that bore deadly hate unto Yashadael, with commandment to destroy the people. So Nicanor came to Yerushalayim with a great force, and sent unto Yahda and his brethren, deceitfully, with friendly words, saying, Let there be no battle between me and you. I will come with a few men, that I may see you in peace. He came therefore to Yahda, and they saluted one another peaceably. Albeit the enemies were prepared to take away Yahuda by violence. Which thing after it was known to Yahuda, to wit, that he came unto him with deceit? He was sore afraid of him, and would see his face no more. Nicanor also, when he was at his council, was discovered, went out to fight against Yahuda. Beside Cap Far Salama, where there were slain of Nicanor's side about five hundred men. Rather, five thousand men and the rest fled into the city of David. After this went Nicanor up to Mount Sion. There came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peaceably and to show him the burnt sacrifice that was offered for the king. But he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spoke proudly and swore in his wrath, saying, Unless Yahuda and his host be now delivered into my hands, if I ever come again in safety, I will burn up this house. And with that he went out in a great rage. Then the priests entered in and stood before the altar in the temple, weeping and saying, You, O Yahweh, did choose this house to be called by your name, and to be a house of prayer and petition for your people. Be avenged of this man and his host. Let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies and suffer them not to continue any longer. So Nicanor went out of Yerushalayim and pitched his tents in Beit Choran, where a host of Aram met him. But Yahuda pitched in Hadasha with three thousand men, and there he prayed, saying, O Yahweh, when they that were sent from the king of Ashur blasphemed, your angel went out, and smote a hundred, fourscore, and five thousand of them. Even so, destroy this host before us this day that the rest may know that he has spoken blasphemously against your sanctuary and judge him according to his wickedness. So the thirteenth day of the month, Adar, the hosts joined battle, but Nicanor's host was discomfited and he himself was first slain in the battle. Now when Nicanor's host saw that he was slain, they cast away their weapons and fled. Then they pursued after them a day's journey, 
from Hadashah unto Gazam, sounding an alarm after them with their shofars, whereupon they came forth out of all the towns of Yahudah round about, and closed them in, so that they, turning back upon them that pursued them, were all slain with the sword, and not one of them was left. Afterwards they took the spoils and the prey, and smote off Nicanor's head and his right hand, which he stretched out so proudly, and brought them away, and hanged them up toward Jerusalem. For this cause the people rejoiced greatly, and they kept that day a day of great gladness. Moreover, they ordained to keep yearly this day, being the thirteenth of Adar. Thus the land of Yahud was in rest a little while.